fighting for children, their freedom in school. San Francisco voters recalling three members of the Board of Education after they were accused of prioritizing progressive politics over the best interests of children. Joining me now, Asra Nomani, Parents Defending Education Vice President. This is just an incredible development, but this is, you experienced the same thing, Asra, that the parents in San Francisco did. Oh, absolutely. I pulled my Mama Bear Movement shirt out of my closet for this victory <laughs> lap today because I am so happy, Dagan. I am so happy. Like, you have been there with us. You are Auntie Bear. You are there <laughs> looking out for the kids. You know, I just love it. And, and you know, we slide into each other's DMs to, like, basically cheer each other on. And in December 2020, a man that I had never heard of before named Gary Tan tweeted out support for me as a parent here in Virginia. And what he was saying was that he believed in merit education. And guess what? Gary ended up being one of those dads that led San Francisco into this revolution, this parents' revolution that we just enjoyed last night. And, and I just want everybody to know, like, that can be you. In whatever city and state you're in, you can be the winner. Because if you for go, our kids, because if you go through, and by the way, the uh, three individuals on the the three school board members who were ousted were ousted with a vote of seventy percent or more. So they there was an yes. overwhelming uh, move by the the voters to get rid of them. But it was all the things that you were witnessing in Northern Virginia. It was uh, keeping trying to not just keep masks on children, but really trying to. Uh, keep children out of classrooms and keep them at home. It was the right. um, a focus on political issues, those involving race when there wasn't, like trying to rename in San Francisco 44 different schools. Uh, with many, it was for spurious reasons. And then also there's Lowell High School out in uh, San Francisco, which is an elite program populated by Asian American and white students overwhelmingly. So the board decided to alter the admission rules, which was uh, removing, removing an opportunity for students based on merit. Yeah, exactly, Dagan. I mean, Gary is a perfect example. When he reached out to me, he told me his story. He's a son of Chinese immigrants, and he grew up with poverty. He grew up as the poorest kid in his classroom. He had opportunity to go to Stanford, and today he is, you know, exhibit A of the American dream, a venture capitalist, a Silicon Valley entrepreneur, a cryptocurrency guy, and yet he is at the end of the day also a dad. And so that's the joy that I feel right now is because what we have seen today in San Francisco is exactly the moment we've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. We have been waiting for liberal progressive Democrats to say no more, right, to the extremists within mm -hmm. the Democratic Party. And that's what Allison Collins, one of the school board members, was. She was trolling me, Dagan, on Twitter the other day because that issue of Lowell High School is the same one we're facing here in Virginia, right. where they were coming after my son's high school, Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, right? So this entire machine of these activists is in all of our school districts. And it, it takes all of us to fight together, find each other, and connect with each other to win and prevail for the kids. Uh, speaking of Virginia, the new governor, Glenn Youngkin, signed his bill today that yeah. bans mask mandates in school, not mask, mask mandates. And that's, but do you think this is just the beginning of what goes on in Virginia? He ran in part on uh, more charter schools. Yeah. Well, you know, we're all cynics, right? So we're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. But I'm telling you, it hasn't dropped. And Governor Youngkin has delivered. He got rid of this you know, ridiculous initiative where they were going to get rid of accelerated math, right? Because right. advanced education is on the chopping blocks for these activists. I brought with me this lovely sign <laughs> that uh, was handmade. Yeah. Free my smile. I know it doesn't fit on camera, but I want people to see that this is the authenticity of our movement. You know, we are not dark money operatives and, and, and white supremacists like the opposition tries to claim. 
We are just parents. And breaking news, everyone knows Loudoun County, Virginia very well. Brave parents there. They just announced moments ago it's going to go op mask optional on Tuesday, next Tuesday, the first day of school for the week. And all those kids that have stood up bravely for their mm -hmm. own civil rights are going to be able to be able to make their own choice now about what they want to do. And that is ultimately what America's about, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You, you, I start to get teary eyed when you start talking about math. <laughs> Because for me, you know, people make fun of me because I got an art history degree, but it was math and learning at a, in high school that I was really good at math that kind of changed my life. It, it gives you such an incredible wow. amount of power. Um, and yeah. it, it just makes you feel like, well, if I can do this, I can do anything. I didn't know I was good at advanced math. And so I just only hope for that opportunity for every kid in this country every well, that's single amazing. child that's that's thank you for sharing that you know of course you know i was in math honor society in <laughs> high school right in morgantown west virginia smart asian girl that i am that's what connects us dagan yeah, but it does. you know it, it was crazy because math and protecting math protecting our accelerated education those were the greatest applause lines for governor yunkin when he was on the campaign trail and and you and i know this big year election year right and this is going to replicate now. We have this huge win in Virginia for parents, mm -hmm. huge win in California. Parents very different from each other in identity and narrative, but connected because we care about our kids. And that's what is going to prevail in states across the country leading up to the midterms, I'm absolutely certain. Azra, great to see you. Azra Nomani, you keep at it. Oh my gosh, you keep so at great. it. So Lady. great to see you, math girl. I uh, know. <laughs> I, I will be math girl all day long. I am a nerd and I am so proud of it, even at this age. Thank you, Azra.